do. Welcome in my Windows 11 Linux powered machine, ladies and gentlemen, worldwide. What you're gonna see today is a very, very, very special. What are you looking at? Is this Windows 10? No, ça c'est pas Windows 10. But why does it look like Windows 10 built somewhere 13, I don't know, 10,000, uh, 1300? Well, because I'm on an operating system that will let me do all of that. Really? So what are you on? Ubuntu for the people. Ubuntu. I'm on Ubuntu 14. 14.03 I think it's 04 not updated and um, well as you know Ubuntu does not come this way it came with the unity desktop I didn't even know the name of the desktop uh, but it was the unity desktop that it came with and I made a video to show you how you can change that and get um, the mate desktop we even got the mate um, let me show it to you let me show it to you we even got the mate tweak that will let us uh, add fantastic um, you know effects to our system but it will also let us change the interface into many various interfaces I choose for this one and I'm not gonna touch it because I love it you know uh, I called it Windows 11 Linux powered and in fact this is a concept okay it all stopped at windows 10 because microsoft decided that you know there will be no windows 11 so you know i make my own windows 11 so this is windows 11 linux powered running on the of course ubuntu ubuntu is the mother operating system of many linux versions that you see out there and um yeah so it can also be the mother os of the windows 11 linux powered os that i'm representing right now at least this is the the alpha version it kind of be a little bit buggy here you can see that we have four desktops that really present themselves in a very beautiful way of course uh, i will not call this windows 11 if windows is not represented in here so let's go to windows our windows environment and um, while that is uh, in fact loading up here let's go to desktop number two we'll have this we'll put windows on desktop number one here you can see uh, we're just uh, booted up uh, windows 8 and we will log into windows 8 and uh, here we have a html version of windows 8 We can also use Explorer by going to the Windows desktop. Updated here, but uh, I'm working on that. Uh, in fact, this is a eight, oops, 48. And you will see that uh, you will find my channel. You can also watch videos from out here. But why would you? Oh, my icon is messing up. But why would you? So let's go back uh, to the. Oops. Let's go back to the. It's a kind of little bit hard to. I never liked this this thing from Windows 8. It always gives me problems to go back. Okay, I cannot use the backspace. But uh, nevertheless, we can uh, straight go back to the login screen. That will be here. And this is how to get back in Linux. Of course, we could use even more desktops because now, uh, in fact, we have uh, we, we we can ha keep the normal desktop, and we can uh, have the Metro desktop for any purpose. So um, if we go to desktop one, oh my my system is getting slow in desktop one we are in the windows uh, 8 or windows 10 uh, desktop uh, it has no start menu so this is the windows yeah windows desktop up here we are in the metro desktop and in here we get back into linux and the fourth one here 
will be for a Apple environment because what I in fact want is that uh, the future operating system will be one that will represent all the four uh, popular operating systems such as Linux, Apple, uh, but also Windows and uh, yeah, what was the third one? So I don't even know, I'm just kidding. This is just a concept people. Um, yeah, we can close this now. So that was more than enough craziness. Um, up here we uh, have also, you can see Kodi, Firefox, we have uh, the App Store. Of course, this is just the icon of the Microsoft Windows App Store. Uh, the YouTube uh, app that will let us watch YouTube videos. Uh, of course, the screen capture app that I'm using right now. And I changed the icons around because it was really easy to do. And uh, those that watch my previous videos know that uh, what I'm saying is uh, is the truth. It is really easy. So if you want to know how to, you know, get started, uh, make sure you watch my 45 minute video. Uh, two videos under this one. Check my list of this week it should be somewhere in there. So uh, go check it out and of course, um, yeah, go have yourself uh, fun with Linux. I must tell you that uh, this is version 14, but you could also go for 15 Mate. If you go for the Mate desktop, 14 Mate or 15 Mate, uh, you will get this. Well, not with the Windows or and not like this, but you will have to make it like this. And it's really easy to make it like this. So this is my uh, Windows 11 concept Linux powered. I don't hope that I offended anybody there and that nobody get pissed off with me that I, you know, made this system. But I think it's fantastic that Linux, you know, Linux can uh, look uh, whatever you want it to look like. And, you know, even the cool uh, Apple this is this is really Apple this is what you see here this logo from of or this icon from the Wi-Fi and from the sound I have an Apple right here in front of me they are both the same only they stand in different uh, the, 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 the logo of the Wi-Fi is here and the sound is here at Apple so that's the only difference but they look kind of familiar <clears throat> and that's great because uh, yeah in this way people can feel the self even better at home peeps i want to thank you for watching this video i hope you liked it uh, i really like the system i think it's really really nice so now it's time to um, yeah say goodbye and of course if you like my desktop if you like this whole idea this concept of course please like this video and subscribe to my channel for even more videos oh wait hold on i cannot stop this video yet i cannot I must show you what I discovered yesterday. Yesterday, I, um, I'm going to make a special review about this because I'm running a little bit out of memory, but I installed, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, I installed OpenShot Video Editor and people, wow, 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 OpenShot Editor, it's almost like Camtasia, it works fantastic. You know, uh, I was editing yesterday a video in it it renders MKV files even faster to MP4 than with a Mac MacBook Pro that I have also here beside it because you know I was converting them to MP4 to you know but uh, up here you can really easy import your files uh, up here uh, I had this 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 music that I wanted under my video and then somewhere in desktop or was it in in videos I think I don't know even where it is. Where are these videos? Desktop? Um, yeah, this was it. You see, it's an MTV file. I just imported, I put it up here. You see that? And this one I can put up here. Oh no, not, not you. <laughs> this one I must remove. Remove. And this one I put up here. This is the music. You see that? And now I can edit this video. So, and uh, up here you can, you know, do something about the volume. I'm not even sure yet how to do that. 
put but you should check that out I was playing with it last night you can even add titles you can make a title clip and then put it everywhere you want not only in front of the video but also at a certain place somewhere just on the video <coughs> so that is really nice so thumbs up there for you guys there uh, at open shot fantastic 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 i'm really happy that i can now edit my videos also in linux so thumbs up for that uh we're gonna close without saving and uh yeah now we're gonna end this video because otherwise it will get way too long again so peeps once again thanks again for watching if you think this information was cool please like this video subscribe to my channel and see you very soon again in my next video